The Danbury Dance Initiative was created four years ago by Connecticut Ballet as an outreach effort to mobilize the community and expose young people and the general public to dance, and specifically Connecticut Ballet. The first year auditions, we didn't know exactly what to expect. And of course, we're spanning middle school and high school. So we decided on three separate auditions, one at the Danbury High School, one at Broadview Middle, and one at Rogers Park. And we invited all interested dancers to come out. I think dance is an important option for kids my age to have because it helps on your stamina, which like listening to your teacher and learning. And it also like, it helps like your memory because in dance you have to memorize your dance from week to week and you have to memorize your choreography that your teacher just gave you. So I think it's a good option for kids my age. We started very much like a dance class with stretches, with uh, isolations, and then we warm up the dancers. They learn some combinations at center. They start to get comfortable and then eventually they get to do a combination several times across the floor. And I heard about this through a flyer my sister brought home um, from Broadview. And I think this is a great opportunity for kids in Danbury to experience dance and maybe even get a little money to go dance somewhere else. So it's really great. We asked everyone to fill out an audition sheet we did not ask them to prepare an audition piece. What we did is we created a, a, a kind of even landscape where everybody took class together, the judges watched the warm-up, they watched the stretches, and then they watched everybody learn the combination and go across the floor several times. And that way it was a kind of even uh, estimate of everybody's ability. I've been dancing for about seven years now. This is like been taking ballet for like four months for right now. Um, I've done hip hop most of my life, but so this is a good opportunity for me. The judges have to make a decision. They're looking at natural talent, but they're also looking at how does a student deal with training and who has the real potential perhaps to go on. And now this year, we've established scholarships for young people who have talent and are in need of accelerated training. And by need, I mean financial need, because it does take quite a bit of money to train to be a dancer. And I think it's a great opportunity for a lot of like kids who've had training before and also kids who haven't, because then they have an opportunity to train in a different environment. The Danbury Dance Initiative has been very successful because we are reaching out to so many different people in the community. Not only does every young person see a professional dance performance every year, but the educators see it, the administrators support it, the PTO council supports it and gets excited. We've even gone out to the Rotary Club and the Chamber of Commerce and asked them to support it. Local businesses are getting behind it. So this truly is a community-wide Danbury Dance Initiative. We are interested in keeping students going in dance. And of course, there are always going to be people who are better than you. And we want to celebrate those who have some potential and may go on. And the scholarship is designed to give them a little bit of money to sign up for a summer program or go to New York and take some intensive workshops or possibly even take class locally with some of the teachers here who are excellent. Dance gives you confidence. Like you can go out and you perform in front of everyone. You know that you can go out there and not be shy and you can just be yourself. I heard about this through my dance teacher as well. She had it posted up on a bulletin board and I decided to do it because I think it's great that they're getting the community together through dance and it was a great experience. I feel very strongly about scholarships. Uh, it it kind of creates a, a buzz and that's what we want. We want everybody trying their best and uh, having access to good training is part of it. What the scholarship means to me that it's a great experience to go through and a chance for me to show off my dancing and how good I am and I think it's a really great experience that I'm really lucky too. The scholarship is named after Calda Logan who herself was a member of our task force and we've named it in her memory because she was such a catalytic dancer and had a tremendous energy and she was from Danbury so we've named it after her and we think that that's inspiring or should be to young people coming up and trying to follow in her footsteps.
I heard about it because one of my teachers had a poster on her wall, and uh, I thought it was really cool that they want people to try to dance more, that they're trying to get the city to do, get more into dance. I thought it was really cool. Now the first prize was awarded to, to Marie Vicente. It's a thousand dollar scholarship for Accelerated Dance. What I'd like to say is thank you to all of those who've supported the scholarships. We have corporate support, we have individual support, the school district has been wonderful in helping us to get the word out, and of course, local dance schools and local professionals joining together and saying, you know what, this is something new, this is something ecumenical that everybody can get their head around and support young people moving forward, having an opportunity they've never had before and Connecticut Ballet is, is perfectly positioned to, to assist with this and put it forward. So thank you and let's keep building it.